Hello everyone. I'm now introducing you the latest data recovery hardware, the DFL SRB USB 3 data recovery equipment. This is one all-in-one data recovery hardware, and users can easily use it with the desktop. And also, users can use it with the laptop. So users can download the latest software from the forum and install it on multiple PCs. And users just need to use the same activation file. Copy the activation file to the installation folder and then it works immediately. So Users can connect the hard drives easily by the hard drive power cable and the data cable. This is the AC adapter cable and this one is a USB cable. This is a COM cable. COM cable is mainly used for Seagate, Samsung and Toshiba hard drives. use with the desktop so it's very easy to connect so this is the DDP software double click it users can select the PATA SATA SATA 0 SATA 1 and the USB channel four channels for USB hard drive, users can only connect the USB hard drive to its PC and then users can enter the USB channel. I select the SATA 1 channel as the source drive. So users enter the program. So this is one very easy to use software users can find the general functions here soft reset hard reset this one start stop motor set password to the hard drive remove password and set max LBA for Western Digital it has these common functions and for Seagate many common solutions to the Seagate hard drive finishers and for Samsung you can find these solutions for its common cases and for Toshiba and for Hitex. Besides these common solutions to the hard drive finishers of different brands, users can also find other solutions within this software too. For example, this is the bad sector scan. Users can scan the hard drive to find out the bad sector situation. And then users can also do disk image and also file extraction with the DFL SRP data recovery program. This, for example, file extraction. Then users can uh, extract the lost data directly. For example, here are the images. You can double click to open it. So you can select only those you need to recover. Right click and you can save the marked file. Or you can sometimes if you cannot list the partitions, you can scan the lost partitions or you can scan MFT for the NTFS file system and users can also recover by file types many file types users can select only those you need to recover so this is very easy to use when you you can click stop for recovery uh, by file type. 
At this time, you don't need to go back to select the disk image. You can go to the window menu and select disk image directly. Now we have selected the target disk and the program will initialize the target hard drive on the SATA 1. It will power on the target drive automatically. Then you can have full control to the disk image task. All the sectors read within the file extraction will not be read again within the disk image task. So user can simply go from switch from the disk image to the file extraction or switch from file extraction to the disk image. So it's very easy to switch between the disk image and the file extraction. Then users can click start. So the program will allow image the source drive to the target drive. So it's very use yeah, it's very useful function to switch between the disk image and file extraction. They are perfectly integrated together. Thank you for watching this video.